Thank you very much, Courtney. And this weekend, the Winnipeg Convention Center is going to be filled with lots of information, lots of help for you parents as the Baby and Kids Show comes our way. Here with an introduction when it comes to pre- and postnatal massage, we've got Hillary joining us from The Nest, and uh, the lucky lady there is Myra, and Kathy is a massage therapist who's working on her. Uh, so, Hillary, let's start with how does uh, massage help the, the mom-to-be? Mom to bees have a lot of aches and pains for the most part because they're changing body and it's kind of an ongoing thing. So um, Kathy's really working on generally aches and pains is kind of the focus for most of the moms. Yep. But whatever the moms are wanting her to focus on, she's going to help with. So, so if mom's stressed out and tense yeah. uh, and it's in her neck, that's where exactly. she's going to be. Exactly. But you know, there's lots of hip and, and back pain as well in general. Um, it can also really help with getting better sleep, which is also a big issue for pregnant hugely moms. Hugely hard for moms. Hugely, hugely, hugely hard. Um, as well as though even later on, when, once they're term, so after around 38 weeks or so, yep. it can also help promote labor even. So there's lots of benefits kind of that go through different trimesters. Okay, that, that, that's going to be a big selling point for a lot yes. of moms because there's a psychological thing when you get to the end of nine months where you're ready to yeah, have that You're baby. just done. Yeah. So, so she can actually bring on labor with she massage? Can. Yeah, she can. So there's different acupressure points that Kathy is a trained uh, prenatal massage specialist, okay. um, which of course that's what we would recommend to go to. Right. Um, and so she knows the points to sort of avoid at certain times and to, to, um, to stimulate at certain times that can actually bring on labor, generally even any time within 12 hours a week we've seen it happen. So yes. Wow, yeah. your phone is ringing right yeah, now. I hope that. so. With someone great. saying 12 hours, I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, remember, ladies, you actually get to the end of your term. You can't just book out. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. So that's why we want to make sure that a, that a trained person's doing this yes. because. If dad messes around, not that dad shouldn't be doing massages. No, yeah, go to town, dad, for sure. He can definitely get in there. But we yeah. want to make sure that it's being done right by a professional. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that is preferred. There are people that out um, out there that do massage on pregnant bodies, but we, we like them to know about the pregnant body, to be using these special bolsters as you're seeing um, being used um, because of the special needs of a pregnant mom, but as well as the acupressure points and everything else would be important. Right, and we've done know. everything we can to make sure that Myra is safe yes. and comfortable, right? You know, she's not flat on her back. She's yes. got everything she needs to make sure that she's feeling good. Exactly. Now, when Myra has her beautiful, beautiful child very shortly, yeah. uh, she's going to come back and get more massage therapy. Yeah. How can uh, postnatal, how can we help the mom? Yeah, um, of course, really important as well. A lot of aches and pains, again, and just a little bit different. So some from recovery from pregnancy or from labor or yeah. and or labor. As also, though, from just holding a baby. Um, if they're breastfeeding, all that, I call it the mom shoulder, which all that aches and pains, just a lot of this, a lot of looking down. It, there's a lot of kind of you know trials on on that upper body it may seem silly but just, just even a light little baby yes all day long all day long every day yeah and feeding really... every two hours and so it's a lot lots of aches and pains also the whole car seat carry as everyone does um, it's a lot of wear and tear so it's so it's also it's, it's mainly for aches and pains but there's also once again get, getting better sleep um, yep. as well as a hormone um, it helps improve the feel-good hormones so if mom is kind of feeling low yep. um, even postpartum depression low um, this can really be helping um, reduce, release some oxytocin and endorphins. It can also help with breastfeeding and promoting um, lactation. Because when mom's comfortable, everything's working yes. better. Exactly. Um, you're going to find Nest with a big display at the Winnipeg yeah. Convention Center this weekend. Look for them right on the corner there. Yeah. And in the meantime, we've actually got your chance to get tickets right now. Go to breakfasttelevision.ca, click on the link that says contest. Win yourself a pair of tickets this weekend, Winnipeg Convention Center. It goes Saturday and Sunday. You're open from uh, 10 to 5. Mm -hmm. Winnipeg Convention Center. Get there early because parking is always a tough one yes. in that neighborhood. Yeah. And look for Nest and some ideas when it comes to uh, massage therapy and how it can help you. Myra, best of luck with the baby. She's asleep, isn't she? <laughs> no, she's not enough. We're going to put all that information on breakfasttelevision.ca. We're going to take a break. Still plenty to come today on BT.